welcome to part one of 10 of this How to Build Your Dreams series. This one is gonna be featuring a very incredible exercise that I used to teach to huge groups of people at various events around the world. And I'm really excited for you to experience it here today, but I'm gonna do a lot of preamble and a lot of prep because it's very important that you come into the exercise with everything in mind, because it's only gonna be about five minutes long, but those five minutes will profoundly change your life again and again and again. And I'm telling you, I've done this with people multiple times. I've done this personally dozens and dozens of times to create different future memories that we are going to magnetize, draw into our lives. And it's so important to get a crystal clear vision of what you're going towards, what your dreams really are. And there's so many ways we could start. There's so many places we could go to build your dreams, but we're gonna go here first because I really think experiencing your dreams ahead of time is something that of course, every sage through all time recommends. And I think that this process, this experience is actually one of the best ways to do that. So step one of building your dreams before we get into the exercise is make sure this is something you really Really want. You want to ask yourself the question, is this something that my family wants, that my significant other wants, that my friends want, or that I think I should be doing? Are you shooting all over yourself? Or is this something that you really want to be doing? So make sure you can get a little pen and paper, you can get the notes app out on your phone, whatever it is, and start just ideating. What are the things that you want? You don't have to get really clear right now because this exercise is going to take you out of your logical and into your emotional space, into your heart, to kind of figure out and start to visualize what it is you truly want. And I think what might happen in this will surprise you. Step two is we need to raise your electricity level. So wherever you are right now, pump yourself up a little bit. Maybe put on a song that you really like, dance around, go for a run. This exercise is gonna be profoundly more impactful if you have high electricity levels. And so if you're sitting here, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you might be kind of in a lethargic state. We want the exact opposite to the best of your ability. I'm not saying you have to go out and go for a run or do 20 burpees, but I am saying if you do that, it will amplify the effects of building and magnetizing your dreams faster, more effectively, and more beautifully than you would do otherwise. So my recommendation is every time you come back and watch this video and do this process again and again, which I do recommend doing regularly, go for a run, go for a sprint, do a bunch of jumping jacks, get your body moving, get yourself into a good state energetically so that this will have a bigger impact because the electricity in your body is what I call the super consciousness or the God mode energy of your body. And so the more of the energy you can bring up to the surface, the better everything will work for you. Number three, once you've pumped up your energy levels, you've done your burpees, your jumping jacks, gone for a run, danced your, your face off to good music, now breathe and get into an inspired state. Feel that vibration of energy in your body. Really begin to feel that electricity pumping and start to breathe, start to bring it into rest and digest. Get yourself into that state where you feel good energy, you feel inspired. And if you aren't there yet, go back to step one, begin to write down dreams, get to that place where you're saying, hey body, hey mind, hey heart, we're getting ready to go in, we're getting ready to live our future memories, our future dreams right now. So start to get excited. It doesn't matter what your life looks like right now. We're gonna go into your future and we're gonna live there. And that future is beautiful Beautiful, no matter where you are, where you're starting from. So start to get into that state, raise those electricity levels, then breathe, feel that inspiration. And now the way this exercise is gonna work is I'm gonna put on a song, a very special song. You can always come back and repeat this part of the exercise of this video again and again. The song is called Ikigai. You can find it on Spotify as well. I'll make sure to drop the name down in the description for you. But I'd highly recommend coming back and doing it with the guidance here. You're gonna close your eyes at the beginning when you hear the song start, and you're gonna start to just allow your body to cool down with that high electricity, with that calmness, that rest and digest that we're sitting in after breathing and I'll guide you in the beginning of it. And then you're gonna allow your whole awareness to just expand into those dreams. If you were able to write a lot of clarity down, allow your mind to sort of go into the dreams that you have clear. And if you have no clarity, just allow yourself to experience joy. So call on that emotion. And that is a muscle. If you're not used to calling on joy, if you're not used to being happy, you can bring that into the present moment right now and just allow your
yourself to experience a beautiful memory from your past, to bring in that emotion to the present so that we can then go into the future where you're gonna find those emotions, those beautiful emotions again and again and again. And so I'm gonna guide you into some breathing in the beginning and then you're gonna allow yourself to experience these beautiful, positive emotions, whether it's in the future, in the past, or just bringing it into the present moment. And then we're gonna listen to the song and I'm gonna guide you along the way. As soon as we get done, you're gonna get your notes app or your pen and paper, whatever works well for you. And you're gonna to start to write down what you experienced. If you like to draw or if art is your thing, begin to draw what you're seeing, what you were feeling, what you were experiencing. Or if you don't like either of those, maybe you do a voice recording of what you saw, how you felt, what you experienced. Note as many details as possible. And then every time you come back and do this, see if you can go a little bit deeper or go to a different future memory. And you can build dozens and hundreds of these. And if your life right now is really challenging, the more of these you build, the more you can live in into these future memories, the more likely you are to bring them into your present faster. And we're gonna talk about that after we go through the experience, but just get ready. If none of those work for you, last case scenario, call a friend. Call someone who's doing this with you, sit down and talk with a friend, do this exercise with them and talk about what you experienced, what you felt, and then just do it again and just keep doing it until you find this state of inspiration. I promise you it'll happen. So remember, bump the electricity, then breathe and calm down, get all vibrate start to get ready to experience your future memory. And here we go. Hold it in, breathe out. Shake out your body a little bit. Allow your body to be calm. Bring a smile onto your face, even if you have to force it. Just bring that smile up. Allow your body to feel that beautiful, inspired energy that your future is just absolutely drowning in inspiration. Breathe. Let the music just sort of sink into you. Allow yourself to feel that vibration, that electricity that you built up just beforehand. Make sure to close down your eyes. And now begin to imagine all of the beautiful things you want in your future, all the amazing success, the peace that you feel, where are you living? Who are you spending time with? What's your love life like? How much money have you made? What are you doing with your time? Do you have family? Which friends are closest to you? What's happened in their lives? And whenever your mind, whenever your heart begins to grip, allow it to find these beautiful future memories. Where are you in the world? Who are you with? Where are you? What are you doing? And then begin to allow your, yourself to explore that future. Allow yourself to explore how you got here. Step into that future self and break down all of the memories that that future self has. What they've gone through, how they made it through there, connect with that future self because they know so much more about how you're going to succeed how you're going to fail, how you're going to move on, move forward. They know exactly how to get over every obstacle that you'll experience. And now allow yourself to drop into that future memory. Focus on experiencing those beautiful emotions. Focus on the catalysts. Focus on the peak moments. And now allow yourself to drop into that memory completely. Allow yourself to move if you want to. Allow yourself to express that energy in any way that feels great for you and just enjoy. Focus on those big, beautiful emotions here.
and take a huge deep breath in. Stay in your vision, breathing out, shaking out all that beautiful energy that amassed during that exercise. Say goodbye to that future self. Tell them that you're gonna be back so soon. Say goodbye to all the friends, all the family that you were there with, knowing you can always come back to this memory. You can always come back to this place. And for every future memory you form, remember this feeling. Remember that these will never leave you. You're going to experience this someday, very soon. And then get out your notepad or your phone or the friend that you're with. Pause this video if you need to and write down what were the details? What did you just experience? Where were you in the world? Maybe you jumped to multiple memories. Maybe it was very abstract. Maybe you were floating in space or maybe it was very concrete. Maybe it was just tomorrow. Maybe it was something beautiful that happened today. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Whatever shows up for you is meant to show up for you. And you can always come back and do this exercise again. And I'd recommend making four, five, six of these future memories if you've never done this before, so that you can just regularly, whenever you're feeling down or whenever you're discouraged, come back to one of these beautiful future memories and remember those feelings and really bring yourself to that memory the physical touch of everything that's there, the voices that are there with you, anything that can anchor you to those future moments. And to take the pressure off, it's not about experiencing these future memories. It's about experiencing the emotions from them. Because something wonderful about the way that our lives work and the universe works is the details don't matter. It's the feelings that matter. And by experiencing this and asking which is what we're doing here for these experiences in the future, you're going to call in things at least this good or even better. Probably not on the timeline that you're imagining. For some of you, it's gonna be faster. For some of you, it's gonna be longer. And that's dictated by so many things beyond understanding for the moment and beyond your control. So just trust that the more that you can experience these beautiful emotions now, the more you're gonna experience them in general. So do this exercise regularly. Build as many future memories as you can. One of my favorite things to do is to put on the song and to come back to a memory that I've loved on repeat and just dive in and go deeper and deeper into the details. The day before that memory, the day after that memory, the year after that memory, how that memory expands with time, how it compounds with greater and greater experiences in my life. And then the next step is start to go into the mind or the memories of that future self of yours and start to reverse engineer on your notes or with your friend or wherever you want to document your future memories and say, every time I go into that memory, connect with the memories of that future self and deconstruct how they got there. Deconstruct what is their career? What have they accomplished? How did they do it? What were their relationships like with people that are current in your life? What are the relationships like with people you're probably going to meet in the future that were in these memories? And often it'll be an energy of certain people around you or certain things in your life. And just begin to imagine what could happen to make those things real, which is a shout out to part two in this series, which is going to be the next video to tune into. And then in the next step, draw yourself a little map as you've built out more and more future memories, sort of like a treasure map where X marks the spot of your favorite, most blissful future memory that you've experienced and that you've done with this exercise and begin to draw a map of where you are now, where that beautiful memory is in the future and all the waypoints or the checkpoints in between those two moments, the ups, the downs, probably the hardships or the challenges you're gonna to need to experience to become that person in your beautiful future. It's not all gonna be sunshine and rainbows on that path. However, you will see that with every storm that comes along, there will be sunshine and rainbows afterwards, as there always is. And so build that map for yourself. Learn that there's always gonna be the beautiful ups and downs on the journey to that beautiful future memory. And as you build more of them, place them on that map for yourself. So you can always anchor yourself to these beautiful emotions, beautiful ideas and thoughts and realities whenever you're at your lowest points so that you can stabilize those low points with those high points and get to more of a middle ground. And then the last step, watch the next video because it's gonna be very important for starting to ask yourself if you need some help with deconstructing how to get to those future memories. And to give a hint, it's gonna be one of my most favorite formulas I've ever come up with in my entire series of careers and it's called the most beautiful question formula. See you next time.